So, hey guys, Chaozu here. So this is going to be my own teams for the upcoming treasure map against lead performers. Uh, I've been working all day and I haven't really double checked the teams I made, so I'm just hoping they actually work now when we go through them. But yeah, I basically try to prioritize points mostly. So like this team, very good points, but probably not the fastest. Like uh, we rely on Momo end of turn to defeat stage one and two. And Momo special is not the fastest when it's launched. But yeah, I think it should be well do well. So yeah. Uh, final stage we have the spear, we have hunger, we have special bind, paralysis and resilience. So Momo handles the resilience and he also gives you an attack boost that will last to final stage. Uh, Tama handles special bind and paralysis. Uh, the paralysis will also proc this Sandy support, uh, which will give me an orb boost for Masai Yunus. This is the first time I use the support. Very powerful effect. And then we have Hiyori, who will has hunger to remove that. And Dendro, who will give us or reduce the, the spear. And he will also do a death down conditional, which the Kiku support procs. So yeah, should do well. Uh, don't think I have, or Tom, Tama special does call affinity, so this is like all buffs, so there should be some serious overkill damage. Uh, Black Maria, I basically follow the quest guy mostly, I just skipped Nami since she's not really needed. So yeah, basically f uh, stage 1, wave clear with Luffy's super type, stage 2, wave clear with Zoro to get an orb boost for final stage. Final stage, Rufy resists all of the paralysis. Luffy special uh, does the special reverse. Robin handles block corps and attack down. And did I seriously forgot, forget about the bind? I can't believe that. I think I forgot it in my accessible team video as well. Like I did two recordings of that the first time I forgot it. But yeah, we don't remove the bind, thankfully. A support handles three turns. I only need to handle two more turns. But I can't believe I forgot about Bind again. Uh, let's see if we have something. Like, Iso is not really needed, so I can just replace him. In that case, I lack one turn. Let's see what other options we have. Uh, Kiku is fine, right? Yep. Okay. Well, that's that sorted. All's good at ends good. And yeah, Robin will also give a chain boost with the support, and Elnol on Sora gives us some Call of Infinity final stage, so should be fine, I think. Uh, next team, Sasaki, and I wanted to do one team with my new Germa ship. Might as well have some fun with it. And I thought Sunny and Judge for Germa ship was fitting enough, and I'm pretty happy with this team. Has some unboosted units, but. That's not too uncommon for me, really. Uh, so basically here, uh, I will wave clear with uh, Akainu, who has double special. Uh, at least the first turn, the second turn I wave clear with Kiku Aiso to get the chain lock for final stage. Uh, final stage, Sasaki handles the special reverse and gives color affinity. And Sanji handles the, Sanji else handles the rest. I just need to remember to swap them once before final stage. But yeah, remove the paralysis. They remove the special bind from themselves. Nami support sets defense to zero, and we get attack at war boost. So yeah, I think it should be fine. And basically, uh, the ship lets me re resist one turn of special reverse, and then Sasaki reduces the other. And who's who and your search that Sasaki can use his special because it uh, lacks quite a few recent units. Sasaki reduces CD with special but doesn't resist special rivers. But who's who support handles that? But yeah. Now for the actual who's who fight. And 
I'm saving Big Mom for the main boss, so I don't have her. Instead, I have Nami Robbins. When I start with Nami, I get full board of Wano, which means I can handle the Wano barrier final stage. Uh, then I just use Akain to get a conditional. Uh, don't really know if I really need to use him, but it's extra damage uh, at least. Well, at a minimum, I will use Nami Robin and probably if I need more damage I can start using Akainu. Them, the, the two of them together do add a lot of damage though, so that's pretty nice. Uh, could probably try and add some color affinity as well as a support or such. But yeah, Wives and Viola are just extra points and Caesar for wave clear. Uh, finally, for the final boss, uh, ironically this is the exact same team I made for the ambush. I made it for the ambush. I copied it over to the boss. Just I had a template to switch around. I often do that. But usually when I don't have full boost. I had to make quite a bit of changes to make it work. But for some reason it legit worked for the main boss to the exact same team. Uh, I maybe changed some support, I don't remember now, don't think so, so yeah, <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous to be honest that you can make the same teamwork for boss and ambush. But yeah, let's go through why and let's see if it actually does work or if I overlook something. So Scient decks all get reduced CD and well, all these are the top, top boosters, so that makes sense. Uh, that they can be used anyway. So stage 2, uh, remove SFX. I don't think I remove that. Need the Rhizo for that. Uh, burn. I think I just tank through the burn. Like, doesn't really matter. Uh, resilience. And yeah, uh, basically what I'm doing here is the same as my ambush team. I will use Luffy's Super uh, EX and Special on stage 2. Uh, usually you want to use a stage 3, but Orbus is forbidden then, so I rely on the Ushimaru support. I think that's Sorostad's name. Oh, I actually remember right. I'm impressed by myself. Uh, but yeah, Ushimaru handles the Orbus final stage. So Luffy, stage 2 actually means he removes one turn of resilience with his special, since resilience is a beneficial effect on the enemy. So it's Special removes one turn of that, which means that Yamato can remove the remaining six. Otherwise, that's one of the most annoying parts of this battle, the fact that it's seven turn resilience and not six. And I can also use Sorrow, which would remove resilience anyway, because Koshiro. Uh, other than that, uh, the barrier, whatever, we will have enough HP to live through the burn. And then final stage, we have the block warps, which Law and Kid handle. Paralysis, which the Sora handles, which will be the friend captain. I will run double Sora. Uh, we also need high enough chain, which Sora specials handles. Uh, Law Kid says defense to zero. Uh, gear 5 is in uh, the gear 5 mode, basically. So we ignore defensive effects, we ignore the rainbow shield. And we don't use an ore boost in special. Uh, one thing I want to say, since some have asked about replacements for Ushimaru, uh, the easiest is to swap out the support here, Anal, and swap that to Sanji, preferably. If you don't have Sanji, you can also use the Flampe if you have her old free to play unit. And uh, there's probably some Call of Infinity support you can use. Question mark. It's not the best for Saido. Yeah, Vivi. So you can put, if you have Vivi, you can put them on Yamato. But you don't get his final stage, I guess. So mm. not optimal. Ushimaru is definitely the best choice. But yeah, you can just skip Color Affinity as well. But yeah, these are my teams for Treasure Map Lead Performers. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.